is Bailey Steckbauer. I'm the coordinator for Gateway East. Let's come take a look inside. As you first enter the lobby, you will find a small seating area with a TV as well as my office door. I am here to help you for anything that you may need um, regarding living in the residence halls or here on ECU's campus. Um, in this area is quite a social area that we have in our lobby. Behind this TV, we have a kitchen, we have a conference room, um, we even have a music practice room for you too. Um, behind you, we have a reading room, which is more of a private, quiet study space um, or a small group meeting area as well. Let's continue through the lobby where you will find our laundry room too. Our laundry room facilities are free for all ECU students. All right. Um, we have a beautiful lobby space with tables, chairs, seating areas. One of my personal favorites is the outdoor, the outside courtyard. Um, during the fall and springtime, there's a lot of students that go out there, sit. It's a great place to get um, some fresh air or just do a little studying. One of the most enjoyable aspects of living in Gateway is the use of our study lounges and rooms. Every floor has two to three study lounges on it um, to really help boost your academic success and the community in our hall. As you can see, we have tables, we have chairs, and we even have whiteboard in here for your use to help with studying and group projects. Um, you will see that our study rooms are highly utilized um, and this is a great source of where you're going to meet your friends, your community, and hang out in the residence hall. I'm so excited for you to come and check it out. So we've made it to the hallway where you all will be residing. On every single hallway, we have a resident advisor that is here to help you. They're going to meet you, they're going to help you and um, do programs and fun exciting activities with you all and really help build and boost your floor community. Um, but now is the most exciting part. I want to show you what a typical room looks like here in Gateway. What's really cool is you'll see um, you have a whiteboard outside of your room so a lot of people write notes or draw pictures. Um, you'll also have some name tags on your door when you arrive. All right, so welcome to a typical gateway room. You're going to find two twin extra large beds. Each resident is going to have a desk as well as a cabinet. What's really cool is our desks and cabinets are movable. So you can move them to rearrange your furniture as you want. Some students keep it together with their desk. Others may move the side table and put it next to their bed. Whatever your preference is, um, you can do that, okay? Um, all rooms come standard with a refrigerator and a microwave. Um, and then in your closet, you have two closets in which you and your roommate will share and come with cabinets as well um, for drawers and dressers. What's really neat about the gateway rooms is we have very tall ceilings. So um, it really makes your room feel bigger um, and makes you feel like you have a lot of space. I also recommend some people like carpets. That's something that you may want to consider buying a rug or a carpet for your room because we do have tile floors. Another thing to point out, you may notice that there is a different color wall. Um, Gateway is a unique building. We have a couple different color combinations that you will see. This is not standard in every room. We have yellow, blue, green, and more of this like darker gray color. So I just want to make note that this is not the color you may necessarily get in your room. Here in Gateway East for this upcoming academic year, we are hosting the Honors College, the Future Pirate Nurses Living Learning Community, Chemistry and Physics Living Learning Community, as well as the Biology Living Learning Community. Gateway East is connected to Gateway West. On the second floor, there's a bridge that connects both of the buildings. What is also unique about this building is if you live in it, you have access to Gateway West as we know a lot of living learning community students share very similar courses and coursework together. Um, in Gateway West, there are another six living learning communities that will be hosted there this upcoming year. What's cool about Gateway West is it looks very similar to Gateway East. Our buildings are the exact same layout. Uh, we just have a couple different color combos 
um, in the lobby. So in the Gateway East lobby, it's blue. In the Gateway West lobby, it's yellow. Um, but the building layout, the features and the amenities are all the same. What is really cool about our neighborhood is we are closest to the football stadium, Minji's Coliseum, and other sports arenas. Around our building, we also have the Gateway Sports Court where you can rent a basketball um, or play some sand volleyball with your friends or sit outside just in a larger courtyard. Up here on College Hill, we have Todd Dining Hall. We also have the Galley Alley, which hosts a subway, a burger studio, a small pod convenience store, and a coffee store called Port City Java for your use. Thank you so much for taking the tour of Gateway East with me today. I am so excited to meet you in the fall, and we look forward to your arrival.